Four contenders are about to take on some super challenges in a supermarket. Let's meet them. First up, Samuel Monsieur, a third generation executive chef from Boston. Next, Cassie Few, a Cordon Bleu grad from San Diego, California. And then, Marcel Cosite, a private chef and caterer from Los Angeles, California. And finally, Philip Pasquar, founder of a line of gourmet baked foods in Brentwood, California. Welcome, chefs. Thank you very much for coming. You're here to compete in three off-the-hook culinary challenges. You're gonna have to shop, prepare, and plate in a real-life supermarket while trying to beat the clock and each other. Now, after every challenge, unfortunately, one of you will have to check out. But the winner of the final game gets to go on a super shopping spree that could earn them up to $20,000. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Bring it on. This is game one of Triple G, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. <laughs> So my game plan is to make a roasted salmon with a chimichurri sauce. I'm thinking a spicy cream spinach with sauteed shrimp and garlic bread. Chimichurris are great with seafood. These are awesome, they pop right out. There's garlic and there's cilantro. Those are very bright and refreshing. So they're gonna help everything else on the plate shine. One piece of fish defrosted beautifully. So I dredged that in some flour and spices, salt and pepper, and I started frying that. This is still frozen. The other piece is not defrosting properly and I'm having a mild heart attack. Cream spinach. Interesting. The spinach is so creamy and so heavy. I add a lot of bright flavors, salt, pepper, adding the corn for some sweetness and the jalapeno to really cut through that richness. There's no spices. I'm getting more and more stressed out. I'm seasoning every inch of the way, hoping that I'll mask the dreadful flavor of the frozen yucks. <laughs> oh, this is still cold. The cod is still frozen. How we doing? Badly. Felipa, you doing good? No. This ain't happening. My tater nuggets are taking way too long in the oven, so I'm like, fry them up. I'm just gonna have to deep fry these babies. My mind is going crazy. Time, time. I have this girl next to me that's screaming and her hair is everywhere. Can't I make this fool over? Oh. <laughs> Please don't have that hair in my food. 10 seconds, nine, Oh eight, my God, chefs, come on, you can do this. Seven, six, we go. five, oh. four, wait, wait, three, wait, wait, wait. two, oh, burn. one. Wait, oh, it's not oh, cooking, stop cooking. Oh. Oh. Chef Philippa, please give us a little explanation of what you've created. It's a fried cod with a vegetable stir fry that should have had a gastric and my head forgot to put it on till the last minute. <laughs> Maybe one of you have got a drizzle of it. Lie to me, tell me you have it. My skies are clear over here, there's no drizzle. <laughs> Now let's go on to Chef Marcel. What I have here is a roasted salmon with a chimichurro sauce on top, sauteed vegetables, and some uh, tater nuggets. Next up, Chef Cassie. I just have some sauteed shrimp on top of a bed of cream spinach, some corn, and some garlic bread just for some texture. It's a little spicy. Chef Samuel. So I guess we're calling this a graffiti shrimp ceviche. It's street art style with some chimichurri splatter. The judges have decided the chef that will be checking out, unfortunately, will be Philip. Sorry. Me too. You have checked out. Congratulations, chefs. You have survived game one. Today, you're gonna use the grocery list. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So let me tell you the great list of ingredients. Cucumber and soy sauce, something green a jarred pickled vegetable, a protein, a corn product, something red, and a dairy product. Ready? All right, chefs, to your carts. In tres, dos, uno, go, Sammy! I'm making a pork tenderloin tostada. I grab the pork tenderloin. I need sour cream. Corn product is on the list, and that's an easy one, fresh white corn tortillas. I see the list, I gotta get all these ingredients. So I had to use something red, so obviously tomatoes are red, and something green, I use cilantro. Pickled, pickled, where is pickled? So while I'm shopping, I have blinders on. I'm looking this way. For something green, I'm thinking lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and garlic. And for my pickled item, I grab pickled jalapenos. 
I grab my pork, it's gotta have a crust on it. And I'm gonna do cumin and fresh cracked coriander. I wanna bring it all together with the orange habanero chili vinaigrette, which has very essential ingredients. Boy, these are thick, guys. I wanna get these tortillas fried and make sure that I can make them really crispy. The whole point of a tostada is getting that crunch at the bottom and using it as a chip to pick up everything that falls off. I wanna use my soy sauce on three places of my dishes. I'm gonna use it in the marinade for my skirt steak, and then I start my salsa. One minute, 20 seconds. Gotta be plating, guys. 30 seconds, make it pretty. Ah! Oh, Five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. <laughs> right to the wire. All right, I made a spiced beef tostada and when I think Mexican, tostadas, tacos, you know, that takes me back to kids, being kids, rolling enchiladas, you know, rolling meatballs with my grandma in her kitchen. You know, Mexican food is something that really takes me back, and this is one of my favorite things to eat, so. Next up, Chef Sammy. So we have a coriander crusted pork tenderloin tostada, a mango crema, and then there's shaved radishes, as, as well as some pickled watermelon rind in there, which was really actually quite sweet. Next up, Chef Marcel. So it's a marinated skirt steak, and I did a salsa on top, and I incorporated red chili peppers in there for the pickled, and a mango and brie quesadilla with a garlic cilantro butter. The chef that will be staying with us to battle Sam the Man will be Chef Cassie. Marcel, you will be checking out. Money. Thank you very much, Thank though. You. Well, congratulations, Chef Sammy. Chef Cassie, game three of Triple G. Mm -hmm. This is the big deal, though, because this will decide who competes for the big bucks in the super shopping spree. Yeah. Three, two. <laughs> They're off! Hey. I want to make my favorite breakfast, which is bacon hash stuffed French omelet with some Vermont sharp cheddar. I'm thinking what's my favorite thing to eat for breakfast, and crepes is my favorite thing. This game, I'm definitely not gonna play it safe. So I sprint and the first thing I grab is eggs and milk and already this has become a lot to carry. I wanna pay homage to the roots of the professional kitchen that I have proper French technique and I can do that by nailing a French omelet. So I make the first crepe and I try to flip it over and it breaks. And I'm not worried, the first batch is always a test so I throw it away and start again. Hash is awesome. Hash is the best breakfast food ever. It's greasy, it's hearty, it's loaded with creamy carbohydrates. Hash is great. I love hash, man. Time's running out and making the third crepe and it breaks. Cassie's crepes yeah. are falling apart. I saw that. There is no time to mess up your technique. I don't have any more time to break any more crepes. I just keep saying, I'm, I'm the great master. I can do this. Awesome. I have four omelets. They're not perfect. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. I finally finished my last crepe and I put chocolate, my caramelized bananas and my strawberries, and I'm folding my crepes together and I know that my last crepe is undercooked. Four, three, two, one. Stop working. Wow. So my favorite like hungry man breakfast is corned beef hash and eggs. I decided to make a French omelet and then stuff it with a bacon hash. I did a crepe for you guys. Um, inside is gonna be fresh strawberries, some banana, which I caramelized with hazelnut liqueur, and then I added some chocolate hazelnut spread. It's simple fabulous, is what I say. Simple fabulous. <laughs> it is. Kind I mean... of like yourself. <laughs> the chef that will be playing for the opportunity of bagging $20,000 will be Chef Sammy. Thank totally you. excited. It's pretty surreal. Great job. Such a great job. Great job. You are a warrior, <laughs> and my friend, you have checked out. Thank you. My hand is a list of 10 ingredients. You have two minutes to find as many of them as possible. Each item that you check off the list and put in your cart is worth $2,000. You grab all 10 before the time's up, you win 20 thousand dollars. To me, that's a heck of a beginning on a down payment for a condo. Give it up for Chef Sammy, and you're gonna go in three, two, one, go! 
He's on awesome. stage! I'm running, I see pretzels, and I go, that's the junk food aisle. So there's soda there too. We got pretzels. We got soda. Come on! The strategy is to not backtrack at all, because that's a waste of time. Okay, we got Too candy best. down. Strawberry, something red with strawberries. Herbs with green. Whoa, he's coming through. And he's here. Here we go. Oh! That's what I'm talking oh, about, man. Uh, you just made $20,000. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah.